Welcome to the Cummins Power Integration Center. Also known as the PIC Lab, this microgrid testing facility is located at the Cummins Manufacturing Campus in Fridley, Minnesota. The PIC Lab is one of the largest and most configurable working microgrid test facilities in the world. The PIC Lab allows Cummins world-class systems engineers to test and run any hypothetical scenario you may have for your current or planned microgrid all in a zero risk environment. Today, we're gonna tour the PIC Lab, but first, let's go over a few basics, starting with what we mean when we say microgrid. A microgrid is any power system that can operate isolated from the wider electrical grid for a period of time. Microgrids, and in fact, all power systems, are made up of four basic parts. Sources, loads, connections, and controls. Microgrids are vital to businesses that require 24-7 uptime, such as hospitals, data centers, and military bases. These facilities all rely on microgrids to back up their primary utility and to help optimize their use of power. What makes the PIC Lab so unique is that we can custom configure these four components to accommodate any customer scenario. We can change out the sources and loads, we can reroute the connections, and we can modify the controls. Today's tour will walk you through each component of the Power Integration Center in detail and hopefully give you a fundamental understanding of what this facility has to offer. Let's get started. Development and testing of multi-asset power systems is notoriously difficult, especially when working with new and emerging technologies. In the past, this would often look like a one-off prototype or a complicated patchwork of individual test components constructed within an empty parking lot. This severely limited the opportunities for engineers to explore, reconfigure, and fully evaluate potential scenarios. It restricted the available time for collecting and analyzing data during the development process. The Cummins Power Integration Center changed all of that. The first stop on today's tour will be the outdoor testing pads. This is the largest part of the lab's 20,000 square foot design and provides the dedicated space needed to test any source or load that can be integrated into a microgrid. These sources could include natural gas or diesel gensets, battery storage systems, hydrogen fuel cells and electrolyzers, EV chargers, and more. Each pad provides flexible connections for control wiring, network connections, and power cabling specific to each source. In all, there are five 500 kilowatt test pads, two 2,000 kilowatt test pads, and two 500 kilowatt resistive, inductive, and capacitive load banks. The small test pads can accept equipment up to 12 feet wide by 30 feet long. The large pads accept equipment 12 feet wide by 50 feet long. The pads are built to provide quick and flexible connections to the different sources and loads needed within a given microgrid. At one end of each pad is a connection cabinet providing the electrical and control infrastructure required to tie into the microgrid system. Multiple control interfaces have been provided to connect hardwired input and output signals, ethernet and serial networks, as well as fiber optic and auxiliary power. Twist lock connections are available for power cabling, which allows assets to be installed without the need for additional electrical contractor work. Because the PIC Lab was built to be a flexible and dynamic testing facility, all of these paths were pre-wired during the initial construction. This means only the last few feet between the connection cabinet and the asset needs to be wired. The concrete pad itself is quite the engineering feat. It's heated, providing a safe and dry working environment in all seasons, even in Minnesota winters. The runoff is captured in a fluid containment system that also acts as an environmental protection feature. Any potential fluid leaks are collected and separated from the neighboring environment. Additionally, sound attenuation walls surround the two largest test pads, helping to reduce noise emissions. 
A critical consideration when deciding to construct this test lab next to our manufacturing facility and the adjacent residential neighborhood. Next up is the indoor portion of the pick lab tour. Inside we'll find additional space for sources and loads, the switch gear that connect all these assets together, and the control room where our engineers manage the whole process. Starting on our electrical mezzanine, we'll find a number of unique features, including the utility distribution substation, two inverter test areas, one for PV sources and one for battery storage systems, and the matrix switch gear. The PIC Lab's utility distribution substation is the connection back to the Fridley Manufacturing Facility, which acts as the utility grid source for the lab. This connection allows for the export of power back to the facility or even back to the primary utility grid. The utility distribution substation consists of three components. A step-down transformer from 13.8 kilovolts to 480 volts, two one megawatt utility feeds routing to the main floor switchgear room, and a distribution panel providing power to the ancillary services of the lab. The first of two inverter test areas in the mezzanine is for solar inverter testing, more commonly known as photovoltaic, or PV. The 105 kilowatt PV simulator is a programmable DC power supply, which takes the place of the solar panels. This can recreate weather patterns from anywhere around the globe and simulate the potential for solar energy use and its given efficiency. To test an inverter, it's connected to the simulator on the DC input side and the AC connection panel on the output side. The DC power from the simulator is converted to AC power by the inverter. It then flows through the matrix switchgear and then downstairs into usable energy for the microgrid. The second inverter test area is for bi-directional inverters, primarily used with battery storage systems. This is very similar to the PV test scenario, but here power can flow in either direction, allowing for the testing of battery energy storage system inverters as both a source and a load. The 120 kilowatt battery simulator gives us the ability to emulate different battery chemistries and sizes, as well as to quickly adjust the state of charge of our virtual battery system. Again, like the PV inverter test area, AC power is connected through the matrix switch gear, continuing through to the rest of the microgrid. Now that we've covered our sources and loads, we'll move on to the matrix switch gear. This equipment is one of the most unique features of the PIC Lab and allows sources and loads to be connected in different combinations within the microgrid test system. The switch gear acts like a network patch panel or a phone switchboard. It allows the different power system assets to be reconfigured within the lab electrically without the need to disconnect or move any physical cables. All of the sources and loads used by the PIC Lab are hardwired into the matrix switch gear. It's operated remotely, eliminating the need for operators to be within the electrical room during switching events. This is a major safety and time efficiency improvement as compared to other designs. Moving to our main floor, this is where we have the two megawatt microgrid switch gear lineup. This is the primary working switch gear during customer simulations within the lab, bringing together all of the sources and loads required for a system level test. The switch gear is separated into three buses with tiebreakers in between, as well as a ring bus around the back. This allows for the creation of multiple different power system topologies, including isolated bus, common bus, single transfer pair, dual transfer pair, main tie main, or dual transfer pair with tie. Control cabinets at the end of the room provide input-output control points for all elements of the microgrid switchgear. These cabinets allow for testing, control, and measurement devices to be installed safely away from the main switchgear. It facilitates easy reconfiguration and replacement of control hardware for testing purposes.
finally, the last stop on the tour is the control room. This is the central nervous system of the entire operation. The control room is where signals from all of the sources, loads, and connections are brought together to create an operating environment for the engineers to conduct and visualize the customized tasks within the PIC lab. Workstations allow engineers and technicians the ability to control all aspects of the test operations within the lab. Robust networking and remote control connections enable a single operator to have complete control and situational awareness during testing. Here we can use our extensive data gathering and analysis capabilities to evaluate the performance of a test in real time, offering live demonstrations of the work taking place, as well as to discuss architecture for new products or tests. This collaborative space is where engineers, customers, technicians, salespeople, and anyone else who has an interest in microgrids can come together to experience and investigate the projects being worked on within the PIC lab. It's important to note that the automation system that controls the arrangement of all the assets in the lab was designed and built internally by Cummins. Based on our proven and reliable Power Command Digital Master Control, or DMC platform, the detailed HMI screen allows the operator to view the entire lab, create the correct electrical layout for a particular test, and select which assets will be controlled by each device during that test. Also in the control room, system control cabinets provide space for PLC, HMI, and I.O. components. Multiple control systems can be running at the same time, either sharing hardware or operating independently from one another. Networking connections create easy access for the replacement of control components and for monitoring any type of network topology, whether it's flat, multi-level, redundant ring, or redundant star. Finally, these network cabinets also allow for cybersecurity tests. We can run evaluations and test intrusion scenarios on isolated networks with zero operational risk. The PIC Lab is a remarkable facility offering unparalleled capabilities in the field of microgrid testing and represents a major investment by Cummins in our effort to help lead our customers toward a more sustainable and decarbonized future as part of our own Destination Zero strategy. With its extensive indoor and outdoor test areas, the PIC Lab provides a dedicated space for the testing of various power sources and loads, including natural gas and diesel gensets, lithium ion batteries and solar panels, hydrogen fuel cells and electrolyzers, EV chargers, as well as emerging and future technologies on the horizon. Advanced features such as the matrix switchgear and the multi-network control system demonstrate Cummins' commitment to flexibility and efficiency in testing a range of power systems. The Power Integration Center can be a great resource for audiences ranging from experts seeking specific knowledge to those requiring a more general education on microgrid power systems across all industries. We hope this virtual tour has given you a fundamental understanding of the Cummins Power Integration Center. If you're looking for more information on the PIC Lab or would like to schedule a personal tour, please visit us at Cummins.com.